Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun comparison video between Lubuntu 20.10 on the left and Lubuntu 21.04, the latest release on the right. So let's get into it. Having a look, uh, let's see. So starting off, the desktop environment itself is actually very uh, similar, if not quite the same, just the way that it looks there. Even the icons look the same there, I'd have to say. So not much of a refresh there. Now, uh, we'll also see that the desktop environment itself is actually based on the LA XQT um, uh, framework or environment there and we've got the older version on the left hand side version 15 whereas we've got the 16 on the right just an iterative update there uh, if we go a little bit further and let's have a look at the say the window manager here so these are also nothing necessarily to write home about if I can uh, get that to get a little bit smaller and we'll have a look at the uh, the window manager we're using so it's, it's really uh, quite lightweight one sorry I called it a window manager it's a file manager there and uh, it's the PC man FM dash QT and these will be pretty much exactly the same except for the slight version indifference there now if we were to jump across to some further details say the uh, the kernel which uh, it should show up here if I am otherwise not blind there we go so the this is uh, where some of the big differences in the back end occur so we've got the 5.8 kernel on the left but the 5.11 on the right so greater for, for newer hardware, things like that there, AMD CPU, Intel, whatever you want to call it. And then just last but not least, let's have a look at the uh, the CPU and the RAM usage. So the CPU is idling out nice and nicely there. You're looking at almost about 100 megabytes of uh, RAM difference uh, on boot up. So nothing's really loaded up in the background except for, of course, the operating system itself and the file managers and everything that I should probably try to close. But uh, yeah, not a great deal of differences there. That's just pretty much it. So you about a 450 meg of RAM on the left, 350 on the right. So it looks like it's a little bit more optimized, in other words, which is always really great to see in later releases of, uh, of operating systems, distros, particularly with Lubuntu. The L really should or could stand for uh, light or lightweight. So one of the more lightweight desktop environments around there, to be sure, either way. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see you guys there in the next one. Cheers.